Hi, everybody. Um, I was just, you know, thinking, you know, just ran into some people, you know, that I knew a long time ago, this and that. See how life is going. And things aren't going so well, you guys. You know, and just to let you know, these people, they weren't nice people, you know, constantly acting like, because you had something at the time, you know, that other people didn't have, that you're better than them, okay, whether it's your looks, you know, whether it's your upbringing or whatever, or that you felt, whatever it is you felt that you had that made you better than somebody else man I'm telling you right now Tom will tell you know Tom will tell who you really are and what you really are you know because first of all you know even if you think you got you got it like that you think you think you know if you if you think you just got everything, if you think you just got it like that, the truth of the matter, like the truth of the matter is, you don't. You know, because good looks fade. You know what I mean. You get fat and out of shape after a while because your metabolism slow down. And if you're not somebody who really works works, you know, works out or whatever, or takes care of yourself, you're gonna be big. You know, a lot bigger than you was once in your prime. And even if you do take care of yourself, you, the lines and the wrinkles and the collagen, the, co the, the wrinkles are going to come. The collagen is going to go away, you know, male and female, you know, when it comes to getting older and, you know, looks, they always like to focus on the females These guys. Y'all don't have y'all looks like y'all did once, once upon a time either. Okay. You can be in your forties and not be functioning in certain ways, you know. You know, and that's, a, you know, you getting older, you know, and the thing about it is, it's like, if you want to sit here and try to act like you got it all together, you know what I mean? And you really don't. Time is going to tell. So what's the point of pretending and trying to put on a front like you better than somebody else? Okay, because you feel as though you in a better position or you feel as though you got something that somebody else don't you know you have people who literally is just existing in life man and and i'm talking they in their own life man you know and then time passes by and you in the same spot you was years and years and years ago you don't really have any money saved and even if and the thing about it is, it's not even about having money in the bank or saving money in the bank because the truth of the matter is, you can be somebody who's working, 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 pay your bills, and then you broke. You know what I mean? And that happens. It's not, a, you have some people who truly live paycheck to paycheck, but that's like more so like if you like trying to be like, I guess, ghetto rich or whatever. You driving this nice car, or you buying these Balencia guys or whatever, call it. And you know you live pay that paycheck to paycheck, but it's I think it's a huge difference when you truly are working towards something. If you all those years you was investing your money into a house, okay, making sure that you're not in any debt, you know, making sure that your bills is paid, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because it's really I'm telling you guys, like I'm 40 years old, and it's really ridiculous. To see people that I knew a long time ago, you sitting here pretending like you got this and that, and now time then showed that you don't really have anything. Time has showed that you really wasn't doing anything all those days, okay? Because you have nothing to show for it. You sitting here trying to front, like, you know, I remember like somebody I know they took a took a picture somewhere in the, in a in a house or whatever, and when somebody commented on the house. They was like, oh, what is not mine? It's like, so, okay, then take us to your penthouse then, man. You know, take a picture in your mansion. You know, good and well, like, first of all, you went to the same school as I did, or you lived in the same neighborhood as I did, okay? 
and people be trying to front like they like they got something that somebody else don't i'm telling you now it is a waste of time stop fronting okay get out there and work hard and work towards something okay i just literally paid off my daughter's you know part of my daughter's tuition for college okay and you know what I've been to school. I didn't did this and that with my life, but you know what? I still ain't better than nobody. Okay? Okay, I'm like I'm I'm working my jobs. Okay, I got I'm doing what I want to do right now. I'm about to go to uh Manhattan, you know, to go to, you know, to get my makeup artistry license at this makeup academy. I need a makeup academy. I'm a document there too, but I'm saying, you know, do something with yourselves, man, so that your life is you know, so you can have something to show for it, okay? That's messed up when you're still in your 40s and you're still in your 30s and you have you, you have no direction whatsoever, you know? You're getting up there. And it's not, and like I said, it's not even about just saving money because it's like you can have, I don't even have this in the bank, but I'm just saying, like, let's say you got $20,000 in the bank or even $10,000 or let's just say $5,000. You don't got no car, no house, Okay? You wasted all of your years, you know, being ghetto rich, basically. You had all the, you know, the, the latest uh, sneakers or nice shoes and stuff like that. You invest your money into all this stuff. And now, look, look back at your life right now. Where's all those nice clothes that you had? Where's all those, those shoes and those sneakers? Shoes and sneakers wear out clothes wear out you wash them a couple times now you got now you 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 got to give them to a thrift store or something you know what i'm saying or if you even you know donate to a thrift store it's like they got a hole in it now okay you 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 don't have your own place to live but when you get your first car why is you buying a Lexus? And I don't give a dag on if it's a used Lexus. Like a lot of times, just sometimes people buy things just for the name, just so they can say they drive a Lexus or they drive a, a Mercedes. Okay? It's it cause it's cost a lot of money just to get that type of car fixed. So why invest into something like that when it's not gonna do anything? Okay? If you got kids, okay, and you don't want them to struggle like you did. Why are you investing into the wrong things? Okay? My kids, we don't have... I, my daughter do not wear Balenciaga guys. My son does not wear it. And, and my, they don't wear, like, Louboutin or whatever, whatever like that. Hey, look, like... And, and I'm not saying anything wrong with it. You can afford it, do your thing. But what I'm saying is that it is plain stupid to sit there and pretend like you're something that you're not. You see, it's it's this whole thing. It's this celeb culture that people are trying so hard to live. People want to be celebrities so bad, man. And it's just stupid. Okay? I know so many guys who want to be known as these, these, these bosses. And they're not even doing anything. You're not working. You're not doing anything that actually gives you that label, man. Okay? And even if you do get to the point where you're blessed to have a little stash in your pocket, you're still, you doing, you, you fronting even more. Trying to buy this expensive stuff. You trying to buy yourself a Louboutin, Louboutin belt or something like that. How dumb is that? And you still living in your mom's basement. Okay. And let me tell you something. Ain't nothing wrong with living in your mom's basement. You know, because I feel like if you are trying to save money okay i feel like if you're going to school i feel if you're doing something productive that is the perfect thing to do stay in your mom's basement give her a little something to help out with the bills save your money okay because it's stupid to, to it's, it's just plain stupid to pretend because i'm telling you not even 10 years later okay it could be less than that. Time will tell who you really are. And you're going to be looking stupid. Go ahead and look back on your life. And, and you know, and oh my God, what have I done? You don't want to be somebody who, you know, who. You just have nothing to show for in life. Okay? At least, at least, for goodness sake. 
Invest into a house or something. Get yourself a house. Okay? At least get yourself a car. Why does it have to be a Mercedes? Why does it have to be a BMW? Okay? Why does it have to be a Tesla? Are y'all crazy? Okay, if you're going to put into Tesla, if you're going to put into a Mercedes or something, how about you invest some stocks into a company? Okay? Or something like that. I can honestly tell you, okay, I don't have that much. I don't have no money in the bank. I'm not going to lie. I don't have that much money in the bank. I don't be, I'm considered broke, whatever. Go ahead and make fun of me if you want to. I don't really care. But I can honestly tell you that I'm not in debt. I have my own house. I have my own car. It don't have to be some freaking mansion, man. I live on a regular dog on street. I live a, I got a regular daggone car. Ain't nobody ever trying to steal my car because what you're stealing, man. You know? I got myself a regular car. I wear regular clothes. It's not that serious, y'all. Stop trying to live like you a freaking celebrity and you know good and well you in the hood like everybody else, man. Don't be stupid. That's all I got to say.